have to talk right now. No one has to talk right now because this looks great. You guys are welcome. I mean, this thing, that, 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 you, you probably don't want that on your audio, huh? You know what's funny? Oh, we didn't start recording yet. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> hey, friends. We just tried it. We got you now. We are making fried chicken wops. It's some fried chicken wops. It's some fried chicken wops. We're making fried chicken wraps. Yum. See what I just did there? Yeah. Boom, super corny. Okay, anyway, yes, we're making some fried chicken wraps, vegan fried chicken wraps out of oyster mushrooms, okay? Get into it, okay? How Get many kinds it. of mushrooms are there? Quiz. Answer, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> and let me tell you something, friends. I'm not a big fan. Of mushrooms? Of mushrooms. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not either. It's a texture thing, it gets weird. I'll eat them if they're already in something, but yeah. will I go to the store and buy mushrooms? No, but after today, probably. probably. Hey friends, what's up? It's your girl Marche La. And I'm Nia Witz. And this is my <laughs> sis, Nia Witz. Mm -mm -mm. And this um, is my sis, Miss Marche. We should be rappers. I like we what we should. did there. At this point, we plan too much about the-, the We do. The, yeah, we should, we should have been came out with some songs and stuff. Just so. wait, just you wait. EP coming soon. <sighs> coming soon. Um, we're cooking today. Woo. Okay, we're making vegan chicken wrap. Yummy. Fried. Fried. What other kind of chicken I'm doing? Fried. Fried chicken wraps. We got some spinach gluten-free tortillas that we're gonna get down with some toppings and things later. But yes, we're gonna use these oyster mushrooms. Yum. I don't know if y'all can see that. Yum. Um, to be our meat substitute. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. in this eating clean journey, you feel me? Uh, yeah. Not a huge fan. Yeah. Um, yeah. Unless they're, you know, the kind that take you on a trip. Right. Fan of those. Right. Um, or unless it's already cooked at a restaurant. But um, after today, yeah, we'll probably be buying mushrooms because this looks like it's going to be fantastic. So this is what they, I don't know if y'all can They see. look moist. Yeah. I know people don't like that word. <laughs> <laughs> it's a weird, ooh, feel that one. It's like hollow inside. It's a weird situation, okay? But these are what we're using to basically make the fried chicken. I feel like I'm in Alice in Wonderland. Yeah, it's odd. Um, because I don't like the texture in things, I like to make the cuts kind of smaller, like the fat stem. We, I don't know what we're gonna do with them. I'm gonna have to put those to the side because shoot. If anybody out there likes mushrooms and the stems, we have some for you. Yeah, you Let can let people know. know. <laughs> <laughs> Gross. So I'm gonna just put some of those in there. We'll wash those. We'll come back to these later, okay? So basically for your ingredients, friends, this is a super, super easy recipe, so don't even trip, okay? You can season to taste. But you basically need two batters, mm -hmm. a wet batter and a dry batter, mm -hmm. um, flour of your choice. Again, we're using the chickpea flour. Apparently, it's got a lighter, sweeter, um, more golden fry to it. Nice. Okay. Um, think more um, Popeye's chicken land. Yeah, if you wanted to use like a spelt or an almond, you're going more KFC land, like the darker crunch, yeah. if you will. Ground up chickpeas, what y'all need to do is you need to stay away from that bleached flour, okay? I understand that we grew up on that flour. I understand that it's $2 for a 10 pound bag. It's okay, invest in yourself. Mm -hmm. This bag was $4.99. Yeah. We live in California. So yeah. it's probably cheaper in other places. Okay. Milwaukee. Yeah. <laughs> Wisconsin. <laughs> get away from that beach bleach flower. Yeah. Get you some good flour. Invest in yourself. Invest cool. in the longevity of your life. So we're gonna make the wet one first. Okay, that's what she said. So we're gonna put some flour, about a cup, whatever the ancestors whispered to you, however you wanna get down, okay? We're gonna eyeball it. <laughs> We're gonna eyeball that thing. Now remember, this is the wet one, so I guess you can go a little less with the, probably even, because you're gonna be dipping and dipping and whatever, I don't know. You said a cup? Yeah, about a cup. Who knows? All right. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's it. Enough, enough, a little bit. More. That's fine. Like yeah, that's fine. Like that's a fourth of a cup. Okay, yeah. Um, you need some seasonings for your chicken, okay? 
you need some onion powder, mm -hmm. garlic powder. Mm -hmm. I got this vegan chicken list from uh, Trader Joe's. My first time trying. It. Super excited. Yeah, it's our first time. It's your first time too trying. Yes, it. I've seen it, it and it was just like, oh, what am I gonna use this for? Nope, because I didn't. I've never made like chicken list Anything. stuff. So yeah. I was like, okay. For another episode, I bought some hemp food. Yeah. Hip, hip, hip. Food? Tofu, but no soy, made out of hemp. <gasps> Where'd you get that? Tofu. Hemp is very good for you. Yeah. You know, tofu, it's, it's, what is it? Like, just really processed, so that's why it's, it's probably not the best soy, for you. It's that soy, estrogen mimickers or some shit that we're not supposed to have or something. <sighs> I hear conflicting things about the soy. Some people are out here eating soy. You just shouldn't have too much of it. So okay. for people who are vegan vegetarian, if they eat you know, too like, much of yeah. it, that's when it becomes a problem. problem. Yeah. That looks exciting. So we've got our flour popping in there. Um, we're gonna put some seasonings in there. Oh, okay, so I mentioned the onion powder. The garlic, the garlic powder. powder. We got this chicken, vegan chicken list situation. We got oregano, some thyme, basil, and honestly, just for the hood. Question, when you used to eat meat, what would you season your chicken with? Lemon pepper. Really? Oh yeah, lemon pepper wings. Lemon pepper. Those are very popular. Yeah, uh, Tony Satura. I understand it's got a lot of salt. Mm -hmm. So I, that, it's always just a little boop, 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 and then keep on moving. Like, yeah. it's not a, it's not a, you know, hold the hand down. You just, a couple times, and then you out. Feel me. So I got these and yeah, some sea salt. So I'm gonna put, oh, and paprika too. So I'm gonna put some of these inside. So Miss Nia. Yes, ma'am. All right, it's March. Mm -hmm. Already, we are. March have, Madness. It's been a year that we've been in this the whole quarantine situation. This whole panoramic. It's been the longest March of my life. This whole situation. And that both literally and figuratively. <laughs> what I'm doing right now is I'm putting all these seasonings in this, uh, that's gonna be our wet batter. It so just smells gonna... really good. Mm-hmm. Going to work. Now see these ones that don't have salt in them, you can go to work because there's no salt in there. You can just put as much garlic powder as you want in that bag. Going boy. to work. It ain't nothing worse than biting into some chicken or some crunchy and there's no flavor, right? So you get through all that loud crunch, 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 and then nothing. Cause fried, eating fried foods, you use all your senses. Yeah. So it's like, don't don't let one of my senses be disappointed after I've seen the beauty of the dish. Yeah. Heard the crunch. And now I can't taste anything? That's not right. It's not. Okay, it's not. so I put all of them in, in that in there. So we're gonna add some water to the mixture there. And that's gonna be our wet batter. Super easy, y'all. Super wet? Well, you always wanna be super wet. You know what I mean? More. We'll just we'll just take it in doses. And a little more flour too. We'll probably need a little more flour. Okay, that'll be good. Yeah. Add a little more flour to that thing. It does smell good though already. I can tell you that right now. It smells phenomenal. So mix that up for us, friend. I'm looking to manifest a lot for myself this March. Okay. So I'm just going with that. It's, mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a clean slate. Now, as far as the consistency of your wet batter, um, you want it to be thick like like pancake batter. Hmm. You know, because it's it, it needs to congeal on to the the mushroom. So like kind of like congeal a, again. That's not a word we use enough. Congeal. Congeal. <laughs> we want to congeal. Yes. Ooh. Yes. It smells good though, and it looks pretty too. It's all orange and stuff. It's cute. Okay. So while she's doing that, excuse me, hun, mm -hmm. I'm just gonna prepare a dry batter, which is the same flour that you just had. Okay. Yeah, about a cup, cup and a half. I don't know, just to have you. Yeah. Yes. I like to season both the batters because it ain't gonna hurt nobody to have some seasoning, you know? And again, we're not using stuff with a bunch of salt, so it's not gonna be salty. It's mm -hmm. just gonna be like really flavorful. Yeah, a little you know bit of I mean? seasoning never hurt anybody. It ain't never hurt A anybody. lot of it is salt. Okay, hypertension. Don't do it. Don't do it. Mm -mm. Okay. But yeah, March for me, I mean, the year's going by fast as heck. Trying to keep up with that. Yeah. The new normal is for real. Like we really are gonna be For chilling. a second. Yeah, we're gonna be chilling yeah. like this for, for, for a little minute. Mm -hmm. You know, so. So how, what is your manifesting practice? How are you manifesting things for yourself? Is it through meditation? Is it through um, physical, like, 
acting as though it is here. Yeah. How are you manifesting for March? I am a visual person. I'm a visualizer. If I can see it, then it's set in my mind. So I like to meditate. I'm a, I pray. Mm -hmm. I believe in God, so I definitely pray. And I like to see it in my mind. Mm -hmm. And I heard one person say like once, like muscle memory is a real thing. So like while you're meditating, if you can see it, you're like telling your muscles like this is what it feels like to have that thing. And then the universe brings you more and of that. Exactly, mm -hmm. exactly. So I will just envision, like I have been envisioning these these monies mm -hmm. in my bank account. I have, I've, I've seen. Yeah. I have been talking about the top. Come on, man. come on. I may not this. get what you. Okay. Uh, don't let me fully quote Martin Luther okay. King. I'll make some of it up. But he's no. been to the mountaintop and so yes. have you, Marche, okay? I'm gonna yeah. wash these mushrooms up and then we about to get to cracking. So we are frying some things. So get you some oil, mm -hmm. okay? Now there's a lot of oil out there that you can get. Stay away from that canola. Stay away from that vegetable oil. Oh, Grape seed and uh, avocado oil. Ooh, avocado oil! Some of the best. So why are you a pro? Oh. So while you are preparing your batter, um, put just some oil on the pan. I haven't put it on yet. Oh. <laughs> You're like, what is going on? I haven't put it on yet, because we're gonna do some toppings, okay? We're making wraps, friends. So we're gonna do some toppings for our wraps. So mm -hmm. I have some tomatoes here. I've got onions. So we're gonna chop up. Oh, is that a little produce bag? It is, a little reusable. Okay, produce bag. A little reusable. That's what's mm -hmm. called eco-friendly. Yeah. I like cilantro too, so we can Ooh, put that. Doesn't like yeah, cilantro. Some of that. It's like it's like a love or hate. Like either you cool with cilantro or like you hate cilantro. What did cilantro ever do to anybody? What did it except make things taste amazing? Come on now. Red leaf lettuce, so that'll go on our wraps too. So we're gonna chop this up and then move on to the next step. So let's do that. It's Marche. There's a store that you keep mentioning. Thank you. Yeah. Nap, nap, nappy goodness. Oh, nappy naturals. <laughs> That's it. Okay, so if you are in, if you're in LA mm -hmm. and you haven't been to Naphtali Naturals, you are not. in for a treat, okay? It is a black owned apothecary, okay? You're just coming with all the words. Say apothecary again. <laughs> uh, apothecary, it's a black owned apothecary and um, natural goods store. So we've got everything from teas, green tea, liver cleanse tea, mm. detox tea, we've got sea moss, we've got burdock, we've got chase tree berry, we've got chase tree berry. Yeah, good for your vagina, sis. I'll be back. Your... I'm gonna go give me some chase tree berry. <laughs> good for your vagina. Can you finish this on your own? <laughs> they just expanded. So on one side, it's like all like the, again, um, nature goods, bath salts, shea butter, mm -hmm. oils for your hair. Mm -hmm. They've got crystals, they've got incense, they've got, um, Feathers, if you into doing stuff with like spells and things with feathers. Oh, okay. They've got a whole other side though that's got herbs and stuff. So that's why I discovered um, chickpea flour, garbanzo flour. They have these little containers. You buy the container and it's reusable and you can come back and fill it up again. Mm -hmm. So, um, but that's why I didn't even know that chickpea flour was a thing. So no. I was like, oh. I didn't know until well, I came over here today and said, ooh. Well, ooh. if you're not here, I'm sure they ship. They got a website. You can go get all your tinctures. You can get just, I use a vitamin C serum on my face. Mm. Now, here's the thing. It's yeah. about, when you're talking about skincare and how to keep your face young and blah, yeah. blah, 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 blah. People think it's about moisturizers and this and that. Yeah. First of all, yes, you should have some sort of SPF in your moisturizer. That will definitely help with you know aging and and, and, and all of that jazz. But when yeah. you're talking about getting rid of wrinkles and, and preventing them from coming, it's about serums. Mm. That's what people don't know. It's not about the moisturizer, it's about yeah. the serum. It is about the serums and you're it's welcome. about moisturizing from inside. So y'all drink y'all water. Everything starts from the inside yeah. out. You can get all the proactive you want, okay? You yeah. can get all the clean and clear, clear cell, yeah. oil of Olay, yeah. but 
It starts from the inside. From, we're gonna talk about some self care, Ooh, okay? What yes. are some What are some skincare, self care things that you've been indulging in? I keep it very simple. So for me, when I'm thinking of self care, um, I love steaming. Ooh, you have a steamer? I don't. That's why I just stand in the shower yeah. for like 20 minutes, and I and I ask the world to forgive me for wasting so much water. Um, so what do you steaming, do with the rest of your body? Because the water's so hot. Are you in there? Like, is your body in it too, or are you like? with your face. No, I'm, I'm usually um, singing, so, so I need all the water. Yeah. Um, but if you don't want to do that, then you can just like wet a towel and put it in the microwave for maybe like a minute or two just to get it hot. Mm -hmm. And then when you take it out, shake it out and put it on your face, you just steamed uh -huh. your face. And definitely just getting a good mask. If you don't want to, you know, take ingredients from around the house, some avocado that's going bad, just make a mask out of that. Yeah, honey. Get yeah. some oats. You can yeah. do a whole exfoliant, um, yeah, any of that stuff. They say if you can't put it in your mouth and you don't need to put it on your body. Anything that I'm like cooking with that's sparing, I yeah. take it, make a mask, and, make and a that's mask. it. And just, and just chill and yeah. listen to a podcast, listen to some music, yeah. or that's a good time to meditate and manifest yeah, something. Yeah, manifest. We, we man, we're visualizing some things, okay? Yeah. Writing it down. Is that good for toppings or do you think we need I more? Think, I think so. I can chop these up a little bit Let more. Let me get a cute bowl that I have. So we can put our toppings in something. We have a toppings bowl. We do. So if you know, you're making this and you have extra and you have some avocado, yeah. you just made guacamole. You definitely did. Even just make some meat on the side, taco meat or something, and just eat a, make a bowl. Taco you know? Tuesday. So okay. what are some of your self-care routines? Mm -hmm. Self-care for me. I've been taking more baths. What? Do you have bath bombs? I have salt. Or salts. I have salt. I just bought some menthol crystals mm -hmm. from Napoli Naturals actually that mm -hmm. you can put in your bath as well. Mm -hmm. But um, I'm not a bath person because I don't like to be hot. And mm -hmm. so I don't like to soak, so I usually don't do it. Wow. Because I don't I don't like to yeah. hot. So I have just been just letting my body sit like an Epsom salt, yeah. or sea salt, and just like and, um, essential oil. I've never thought about, oh, maybe I don't want my bath to be so hot because so it's like yeah. you think it's supposed to be, but it's your bath. Yeah. Do what you want to do. I can't tell you who to sock it to. So if you want to be in that lukewarm water, just in that Thank lukewarm you. water. Thank you. Doing different types of yoga. Mm -hmm. And I had like a breakthrough the other day because I felt stronger. I was doing like, I was doing this basic ass yoga I do all the time. Mm -hmm. But like I did a certain move and I felt like it didn't, I could hold it for long. Yeah. I was like, oh shit, it's working. Yeah. So I'm like, I'm baby stepping that thing. I still can't do much, but. Yeah. It's like, you, you practice it and yoga doesn't get easier, you get stronger. Mm -hmm. And so yoga, it's very much a mental, emotional, spiritual thing mm -hmm. when you're practicing it. Yeah. And when you get stronger, it's like you're, you think you can't do it and then, then, whoa, I'm in a crow pose. Or you think you can't do it and whoa, I'm in this one. Yeah, so it's yeah. like, the more you work at it, mentally you're like, oh, now I can do anything. I just, I did a crow pose. What can't I do? Thank you. Okay. Congratulations on your breakthrough. Thanks, sis. Or shall I say namaste? Namaste, okay. Now y'all have to stay in the house until this time around is over. Ooh. Namaste in the house. Ooh. Are you gonna get the vaccine? I do not know. I am super cautious. I doubt, I doubt it. I'll be super honest. Mm -hmm. I doubt that I get the vaccine because I don't feel that I should. <laughs> that is the, because I don't, don't want to say either way or nothing. I think healthcare providers, mm -hmm. we talked about your line of work, how yeah. certain people, depending on what you do, it's like it's mandatory or whatever. You know, as, as entertainers, we're considered essential workers, so we can go get a. Uh, oh, now yeah. that's good. I mean, I don't get the flu vaccine. No, I, 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 I don't think so. But what about you? My one, and of course I need to do more research on it, but mm -hmm. the one reason why I wouldn't jump to get it is because I'm not 100% sure how it affects fertility. There we go. The health of all of that. Yeah, and it's so new. It's, it's so, new. so new. And the development of it, yeah. I mean, the trust factor. I think there's a lot of reasons that make sense as to why anyone would not want yeah. But people get, like I know, like my doctor, um, she's a young black woman in her 30s, she got it. She got the first round, I think she's gonna get the second round soon. I know another girl, another black woman who's gotten it. So yeah. I don't kind of, I don't like 
us being the ones on the forefront to get it first and like, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. have it be a trial on us and all that for various yes. reasons, you know? Yeah. So it is what it is. So I cut the oil on. And she cut it on. She didn't turn it off. She cut oh, it off. Oh, I turned okay. it off. No, I you know you cut it on. You cut it on. no, you cut it on. Okay. I got these mushrooms at the Asian market. Have you ever been? No, I've never been to an Asian market because why? I am not Asian. of thank you. <laughs> They're really cheap. The Asian markets, the lick for your veggies, different types of mushrooms if you are vegan or vegetarian mm-hmm. and want to find some meat substitutes that's not just all impossible meat and stuff. Yeah. You got to try the mushrooms. So we're about to batter the mushrooms. So we got our, our wet batter and our dry batter. Yes. Okay. So we're about to dip it up. Dip, dip, dip. Okay. Okay. Can we just talk about our bowls? Aha! Can we? These are bowls. When you look at these, there is history behind it, okay? The person that cooked in these bowls gave many a ass whooping, read many a scripture, sang many a Negro spiritual, okay? I mean, it was a whole set, y'all. Yes. Look, it's literally a whole you set. You heard of sound bowls? You can cook them on the yeah. oven. You can cook them in on, <laughs> on anything. On the- Way in the water. That's what these sound bowls are saying. Wait and watch you. We got the um, oil heated back up again, mm-hmm. so we're about to batter. So you take the mushrooms, mm-hmm. you okay. dip it in the wet, mm-hmm. and then you come through and you dip it in the dry. Ooh. Okay. Mm-hmm. So, you know, we're just gonna see how this works out. Yeah. Okay? Now, tell me. With this, look at that. Come dripping. Wow. Okay. Once you batter, let's see. See that. That grease is talking. There we go. Oh, you yeah. See that? that grease is like, put something in me. Uh, okay. Oh, calm down. Okay. Grease is getting crunk over there. Okay. Then. Since our grease wants to talk in the conversation, we're going to start frying now. The alkaline foods help you to stay energized. It helps your battery run better and just makes you feel better. So that's yeah. essentially what that means. When, okay. So I'm just dropping those in there. Ooh, it's already so golden brown. Yeah, that looks really, really good. So good. I'm on, I need a deep fryer, period. I mean, I have a cast iron that y'all can see right here, but I want a deep fryer. I want one of those, a fry daddy, I think is what it's called. Ooh. Uh-huh. Don't that just sound like something you need? It a fry daddy, like, you know? It sounds like something I need, but would only use like once quarter. I got those in there, I don't know, a few minutes. I'm gonna put it in on that side and then flip them. Yeah. In the meantime, um, we have our stuff for our wraps already cut up. We got some sweet chili. We've got some raised chicken sauce. Ooh. If you wanna go like tot, sweet and sour dish, yeah. you know. I'm a big honey mustard fan, so I'm gonna put honey mustard yeah. on Yeah. So, Bruno Mars and Anderson Pack are coming out with an album. I saw that. And if they, I was like, that would be the most perfect concert that. ever it to would. go to. Virtual, rea- virtual reality is a thing. So I've yes. been listening to um, some fi- Earn Your Leisure. Shout out to Earn Your Leisure, okay? This is these guys from New York that do like financial investment advice and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And they were talking about the future, or well, they were interviewing Gary Vee about the future of VR. Mm-hmm and crypto and all of that and how a lot of the concerts and all that are going to be like virtual experiences where yeah you may be able to go and you'll be in your bubble but like you'll put something on your eyes and you'll be like you can be like in london but you're here in la but you're like in london watching the concert oh wow yeah wow and that'll be a covid friendly way for people to like you know you know the sad thing i have very young nieces and nephews like Mm -hmm. my youngest is one and I'm like, I don't enough. know what the world is yeah. gonna look like for you. Like, hey, you remember when we used to go outside? And he's gonna say, what's that? What is an outside? <laughs> Again, we're not frying actual chicken, so it's like, you did not have to sit in there for too long. I'll be mad at the tortilla industry. Tortilla industry, y'all need to see me, okay? Because the good tortillas be tiny, like the organic, gluten-free. It be like this big. I want a, a, a gluten-free burrito. I want a big old tortilla. Like the plate. Like the plate. Why the organic one's gotta be like this big? You see, you see this? Ridiculous. Size difference, okay? That's the size difference. 
being in Zoom school, Weird. they're not really learning too much. So the future's not looking as yeah, bright as I would hope. Oh. It's not looking that bright. <laughs> All right, I'm just pulling out these brown ones. Pull out the brown ones. Guys, you have to see these. Because. Oh my! Oh my God! Yeah, like they—they they legit oh. look like little nuggets. Y'all, stop playing with us. Look at that. Stop playing. And if you could smell them, honestly, they smell. Listen, they smelled good from the time you put that first little shake or whatever you shook in it. Okay. So what are we putting in our wraps? What sauce okay. do you want to use? I'm a honey mustard girl myself. Okay. So say less. Cause that honey mustard is fantastic. That. Let me get the rest of these out. Yum, yum, yum. Have you seen any good new shows? So I just wrapped up Your Honor on Showtime. Uh, I've been watching more Amazon Prime shows. There's a show on there about, it's called Hunters. Okay. It's about hunting Nazi people. It's, a, it's, it's about movie. hunting Nazi people. Oh, I thought you said it's about hunting Nazi people. Nazi people. Like, what, what is that? that? that sorry, which, when you hear that, you're like, what? I don't want that shit. It is a fan. Fantastic show. Hunters. It is Hunters. But the show is it's shot very, very well. Yeah. So if you have Prime, holler at that, get your little, um, what is it called? I feel like the I trial. need to give Prime shows more of a chance. It looks so good. All right, so these are fried in chickpea flour. Look at that. They look so So, I mean, I know good. they're hot, but maybe we should just sample like a little small Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. See, y'all thought we was playing. We thought we was playing, but we not. We thought we was playing, but we not. I love my nerves and spices, okay? That. I'm about to get KFC or Now, is it saucy or no? No. Is it just right? It's delicious. Come on, man. It is delicious. Now, literally, we make our wraps. So obviously, however you want, however you want to do your wrap, do it. We don't okay. have to, you figure it out, but figure it out before you make it, because if not, you're just gonna eat all of them and not and even put it in the wrap. Put it in the but that's the thing about these, you can make them like nuggets. If you got kids, yeah, you can. Kids gonna tear that shit right on up. They, they gonna are. be like, oh my god. And you're like, what mushroom? Exactly. <laughs> you know what I mean? Exactly. Put your toppings in your um your situation. Yeah. Oh, I have avocado as well. This is good. This is it. Thank you. You, you, you did it. You did good, sis. Thank you. You did. You did fantastic. Um, if you're a meal prepper, you can um batter some of these up and like have them in the fridge. Mm-hmm. And then when you're ready to fry them, yeah. What is? I don't. I'm not even trying to eat the wrap. This is just like they good by themselves. We low key don't even want to put. No. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. See that? Mm hmm See that? Mm hmm So we put it together. We put it on top of our little wrap. I might not get to it. We might not. We might just eat them like this. We might not even. But the wraps are a thing. But the wraps are a thing if you're trying to keep it, you know, carb conscious. But obviously you can put this on a salad. You can literally make these and put them directly on a salad and just eat it like that. You can eat them straight like that with some french fries. Fuck a salad. If you want to eat it with some french fries, you can eat it with some french fries. These are fantastic. Anyway. Wraps are made. Make them with the fried chicken. Let's see. Let me, let me, I need to put. First of all, I ain't nothing in there. Okay. No. Yeah. You're playing games yeah. with your wrap. I know. Say the big piece <laughs> for your daddy. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. And then boom. Mmm. 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 Get into it. Mmm. 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 Mm-hmm. I'm not gonna show you mine because you might want it. Mm-mm. Now with that honey mustard on there, with them fresh onion and that cilantro on there, I know y'all been frying forever and using that regular flour. Mm-mm. But that chickpea flour tastes so No, really. Oh my God. It tastes better than, than regular good. flour. I don't know what's in it, chickpeas. <laughs> That's why it tastes better. Because it's better for you. I'm Neil Witch. I'm Marcella. We love y'all. We love you. Thanks for joining us. Try it and tell us what you think about it. Yeah, try this. Put it in a wrap. Eat it, eat it, eat it basic. Eat it regular. Eat it plain. Ain't nothing basic about that. So <laughs> this is delicious. Ain't right? nothing basic about it, okay? We're gonna see y'all next time. Uh-huh. Okay. I'll cut it off. You keep eating. Mm -hmm. I'll cut it off. You want these extra pieces, Johnson? I'm gonna get them.